Then one more that I want to mention because it goes unnoticed often is developmental trauma. So this is trauma that happens very early on during infancy or early childhood. And it's what happens when the infant or the child experiences prolonged periods of misattunement. Okay, so the caregiver is not attuning to them. And what we know is that the infant and ch child's nervous system is not able to regulate itself. Therefore, it is dependent upon the attuned nervous system of an external caregiver to help them work through periods of dysregulation. And so when they don't get that, they develop neural structures in which the features of affect dysregulation, fight, flight, freeze primarily, that are meant for momentary adaptive protection against trauma become a maladaptive default state. So I want to say that again. I want to make sure you understand what I'm saying. Fight, flight, and freeze are gifts. Okay, they are gifts in our wiring that protect us, but they're meant to be momentary. So they happen. And then as soon as the threat is removed or we are removed from the threat, then we come down out of that fight, fight or freeze or come up out of it and then uh, return to, to homeostasis. If a child doesn't experience attunement for prolonged periods of time, what happens is that fight, flight, or freeze state becomes the default that is sort of continually activated rather than being that momentary protective response to trauma. So what happens then is that neural networks are encoded with maladaptive relational schemas, which are called internal working models. Um, if you've seen my webinar on attachment theory, you know what internal working models are. That's like a template in our mind of who other people are and how they treat us, who we are in this relationship, who they are, who we are, how we're related, how we interact, how they treat us, what that says about us and who we are. That becomes encoded like a template that we then use to see and interpret our current experience through that mirror. If you've experienced developmental trauma, you might live in a state of trigger. You may not get triggered because your default state is being in the trauma response. A lot of betrayed partners, you know, they didn't know what was going on. They're living their lives. They, maybe they knew something was wrong in the marriage, but they couldn't put their finger on it. Then they have discovery that is traumatic. And then moving forward, they have these experiences of being triggered and it sends them into these fight, flight, freeze states. A lot of sex addicts, not all of them, but a lot of addicts live in that state of being triggered and they don't experience triggers in the way that the partners do necessarily because they're always there. And it often is because it goes back to this, this developmental trauma. If they didn't have caregivers who were well attuned to them, who mirrored them, then they live there.